Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Melucci. This video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. All right, chat. It's time to draft. Oh, are we ready? Are we ready to draft? How's Kaldash format shaping up for draft? I've done three drafts. We went 7 2 with blue white, 2 3 with green white, 4 3 with. Uh, what was it? Oh, anyway, yeah, those were my three drafts. I think I'm taking Nazone. What am I pa I'm passing lots of green here. Lost him in defense, Trevor and Grain on Wildest Dream. Wind King Raiders has also been amazing for me that time I had it. I think Nazone, 2 minus 2, 3 death touch lifelink. One of the. I mean, it's like a vampire nighthawk without flying. Oh wow, back to back Nazone. You love to see it. There's another threading rhino. Oh, Narma Renegade is not a very strong one. It could be a, a 1 minus 2, 3 death touch. Back to back Nazone. Gifted Etherborn. It's so cool when you just start a draft with back to back uncommon of the same kind. <laughs> Especially if it's like double black, so you're like super locked in. I don't know how Skaladesh uh, doing, honestly. I have dropped like three draft only. And uh, yeah, the, the decks I've played against have been super strong. I feel like this format is not. Like, this almost feels like the Modern Horizon, so, sort of. Like, the power... Like, they basically merged two sets, and they took the strongest card of each set. Okay, is Die Young? Is there a good removal spell? Where's that? La Merda? Malefist Squad is another solid card. Azith's Swooper, which is another good card. I mean, Die Young is a solid removal spell. Oh, I got, uh, yeah, that's true. L last draft we went 4-3, I had green-black with three Winding Constrictor. Three Winding Constrictor and three Thriving Rhinos. And we went 4-3. I don't know, the power level of my opponent decks felt like, I don't know. Every deck, every deck had like mono synergies, mono uncommons busted. Like, it feels like, it feels like this format, you know, your deck needs to be like very good for you to win. This is the second Ether's Vooper. This must be a sign. Ether Torch Renegade is another cool card. I think I'm taking Ether's Vooper over Ether Torch Renegade. Blue Black seems uh, a fun archetype. Especially with Nazoni Control. You fly in the air and you... Hold the ground with Gifted Etherborn. Plus, Blue Black has a lot of synergies with Artifact, I have to assume. Metalcraft and such. Ooh, wow! Weaponsmith Enthusiast! 3 mana, 0 1, make 2 servo. Oh, the third Thriving Rhino in a row! Wow, the weapon weapon enthusiast is strong. Z zero, zero one make two serve. It's like three bodies for three mana. We could have had a herd of rhinos, yeah. But I mean, at the end of the day, if you have, I don't know. I mean, yeah, of course, rhinos is amazing. Okay. Oh, Pima Rider. You know, chat that Gira one as an addiction for Pima Rider. Whenever he sees one, he goes crazy. He goes like, Oh, Pima Rider. I think a Renegade map. Renegade map is really strong. It enables Revolt and it fixes your mana. At least the Charger, it's fine. But yeah, the 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 one time I've drafted Black, I I really wish I got all the Renegade map I could have possibly got here. I'll uh, pick up Self Assemblers. As early, I want to play five of this card. Ooh, more Renegade map. Metallic Mimic, wait, wait, Metallic Mimic is in the format, that's true. Passing Salto Strike, but whatever. 
I'm now happy. I have two Renegade map. I can I can die happy now. All right, this pack had two green cards that I remember. There's a Rogue Refiner Proxy. Shipwreck Murray is a nice card. Not it's not amazing, but I think it's a playable. This deck will be made of twelve Renegade map. Ah, Makose! What? There's a three being right on tenth pick. No, vabbè, ma che dici? Uh, Alright, creatures with no counters gets minus two, minus two. I'm not sure if I want this or the divination. I think I'll take the divination. I don't really want to be in green, honestly. I don't know, I think blue sounds more fun than green. Also, I've drafted green black last time. I want to draft it for informant. It's not even 3 mana 3 4. It can be even bigger if you have more energy. Okay. Thrag Tusk, 5 mana 5 for Trample, you gain 5 life. Wind King Raiders. I've passed one of these. This is cool. I don't think I want to be in green chat. I think green is overdrafted at this table. I mean, you'd be like, come on, Mango, this card went 10th pick. That's true, but in my pack, two green card in a wheel, so there's at least two green drafters. Not, not, not that there's many blue drafter, honestly. I guess I'm just taking Thread Dusk. I think this is just so much better than the Raider. Although a Raider, with all this Renegade map and Ether's Booper, Kill Cats, Mau Mau, whatever, let's put Arbor Stomper. Arbor Stomper. Braca task. This should have had an extra line of text that was whenever this creature leaves the battlefield that you make a 3-3 beast token. I think this card should have had an extra line of text. Just like this is a... Ooh! Essence Extraction. Let's keep the double black flowing. I love Shred Negotiation. I had, I've had this in my first deck. <gasps> Another Thriving Rhino! Wow! Nah, let's take a Thriving Rhino. Over our Essence Extraction. Kujar Seed Sculpture, 1 minus 1, 2. When has the battlefield plus plus on counter on something? Not the worst. Ignoring Fab Mode? What's Fab Mode? Oh, Fabrication Module? Yeah, I guess. Three mana, creatures opponent control, minus one This is a combat trick. They can get by, I can get behind. Apparently, this is like, this draft came straight away from a zoo. I've seen more rhinos in this draft than in my entire Kaladesh life, probably. I'm sure I remember PT Kaladesh, I have two, I have two thriving rhinos. I have two thriving rhinos. And I also was splashing blue for Wheeler Virtuoso. Oh, oh, mamma mia, Cloud Blazer chat. Although I have a rule that says that if I if I if I if I draft and open a rare that I might craft in my Magic the Gathering life, I have to take it. So Bloomy Marsh is plus. I have the excuse that Bloomy Marsh is also reasonable in this deck. Okay, the Slave Executioner is not very good. Hidden stockpile is uh oh, a bit stays there. Stala, I think I'm just taking Ether Poisoner. I do need energy, and this Ether Poisoner is a good uh scorpion with this is just 20 gems, I already crafted it. Although 20 gems. This pack is just mono garbage. There's a metallic rebuke in case I want to go blue. But I don't want to go blue anymore. Alright, 20 gems it is. Found this creature. I mean, this card does not seem... Oh wait, let's just take Dawn Feather Eagle. I have one concealed courtyard and two renegade map. How many combos I have with the Seed Sculpture? Not that many. 
just taking this big boy, a Riparian Tiger. Classic Mango Abzan. That's true, right? No, you know what? I'm taking a Seed Sculpture. It goes very well with the Gifted Etherborn. We pump our Nazone and then we go him. Just a fucking guy. Whatever, we take it, but I don't plan on playing this. Like, at all. Aviaria. Do I take Solemn Simulacrum? Or do I take Aviaria? Whatever, I think I take Malfunction. Ooh, Night Market, look out. I don't play Bastion Master. Come on, more self assembler. Oh, Subtle Strike, nice. This card will be put in my deck. For sure. I'd love to just pick up like a 13th pick good card. How oh, many randoms in pack 3? Oh, Cultivator Caravan. This will fix my Abzan deck perfectly. What's this? Pack 1, 2, 3. When enters the battlefield, if you control a creature with a plus 1 plus 1 counter, creatures are. Okay. Seems strong. What's that sound? What is it, chat? What sound it is? Yeah, I'm passing the assembly. I, I think I take the Cultivator Caravan. It's a rare. I was almost going to craft this the last time, so... Oi, Mornazoni! Ooh, Fatal Bush! No, I think I'll take uh, more, more Gifted Etherborn. A third Gifted Etherborn. Alright, what does this do? In the of seven counters, at the beginning of your draft, you draw an additional card and remove two counters from the midnight oil. You have maximum zone size is equal to the number. Card is too complicated, I can't understand it. I'll take a gift to Etherborn. Sorry, Fatal Push. And I pass Push, right? I I'm, I'm allowed to pass this card? My mic does a weird sound. Is it better? Is it better, the sound? Sorry if it was annoying. Ooh, attune with ether. Nice. Nice. Okay, now we need... Now we need a severe... Number of white card to go full Abzan. To get the full best of one strategy. Anzi D! Hello, Anzi D! Welcome everybody from Anzi's stream to this arena draft. You'd be like, wait, what's this? This is a this is a booster draft where you select a card, you read them, because I don't know most of them, and then you select them. And we're playing Abzan here. Chikwai, Chikwai, five mana five five, that's okay. That's okay. Wait, how is this card wait? Wait a second, this card is busted. This card is it's Verger's gear Hulk. No, oh, I'm bad. What? How's this card here? Ah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to, again, to Anzi D. I'll do a shout out. Anzi D is my legacy partner for Channel Fireball. Definitely check his work out. He makes. Ooh! Essence Extraction. Is this deck like more uncommon? Do I have more uncommons than rare? The myth than commons? I think it might be. It's more uncommons. Actually, that's not true, but wow. Self Assembler, I think, is gone. Okay, Mouth is to squad. This is two bodies. This guy is also pretty alright. The picture, it's. Not nice though. Like the picture reminds me of. Oh, I don't even know what to say. I just take this Malthus squad. Hello, a Sage of Shalalaya claim. This card is not good. But it can't be playable. I can also splash more blue instead of white. Yeah, I guess I'm splashing blue instead of white. I just put two more functions in the deck. Oh, self assembler wield. Okay, then, self assembler, you're back. Uh, 
Although a Midnight Ori wield. And now it's time to raid this card. I'm actually taking it because it's a rare, so whatever. Uh, I I guess I'll I'll raid it later. Just uh, oh, put it there, then I'll see. Ooh, construct a playable conviction. Hello, let's take a read on the Midnight Oil. Where is it? It's here. Hello, four mana enchantment comes away with seven counters. At the beginning of your draw step, you draw an additional card and remove two counters. Your maximum end size is equal to the number of our. Oh. I mean, it's, it's good. This card is good. Plus, it's a rare. It's fun to play rares. I like to play rares. What's again life with this? All right, um, this will count as lands, so I'll play fourteen lands in this deck. Removal, combat trick, merda, rakakata, define salvager. Yeah, not good. Removal, removal, weird, weird card that I'm very curious about. Okay, I had fourteen lands, and we're good to go. Uh, I think one island is enough, because I have a tune and two maps, so one island is enough. I think I like to splash mob function. I don't have any removal spells. I don't play, like, this format is so, there's so many bombs, or, I don't know, the power level is so high. And I think that, also, my mana base is alright. I think I can afford it. Allora, quante paludi? Seven, I go seven five. No, maybe I go. Let me see. So if I go six and six, it's like if I have a seven seven, but it's like if I have a nine and nine with the renegade map, I think it's okay. Nine and nine, I should have ten swamp. A two with I counted as a swamp. I guess I can count it as an underground sea. So I have like, yeah, I have a lot of sources. Sage of Shalala claim. My energies are exploited only by the Siege Rhino, the Thriving Rhino, so I think it's okay. Plus, I have Cultivator Scarven too. No, I'm not using Kaladesh lands. I'm sorry. I'm using this lands. Okay, Chow, we got a deck. In, uh, in constructed with, uh, with, with Teamer energy. Most people played four color energy, but I play Teamer. PT Ixalan. Oh, Evero, PT Ixalan. Oh, I got conf Wait, I got I got confused. Oh yeah, that's PT Ixalan. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got confused. I got confused. That's PT Ixalan. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I really thought it was Ether. No, Etherbolt was uh, the Mardu vehicle that uh, Lucas Berthu won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I confused. Okay. Glins yeah, Glins Lee Siphoner. I don't understand the joke. SC Art Folger. Ooh, Blooming Marsh. Let's play more Gifted Etherborns. Ooh, opponent is Mardu. Mardu Stockpile. Now, now I'm presented uh, with, a, with a tough choice, I think. Because... Uh, I think I want to play Thriving Grinder because the earliest you play this, the better it is. But of course, I could have double spelled with this since I have to rank, since I have Berger's Gear Oak next turn. Malufist Squad. Not a very good card. Not a very good card. You'd be like, Papengu, you have it in end. That's true. I just don't think it's a very good card. Like, as long as I fight. Revolt the beginning where instead for Colonel you control left the body for this you make a one one servo. Right, so So I can play sub to strike. Am I in good position for the MPL? At the MPL it's a like a, a long, long race. I think I just go essence extraction. It's not the prettiest play here, I think. But um Makes them a one. Wait, doesn't make them a one one? 
Oh, at the beginning of your end step. Oh, okay, then, yeah, I guess my play is even better. Okay, they make me discard a card. I think I'll discard a subtle strike. I don't care if they make a 1-1. One, one. My end is very good if I draw land here. All right, you make a token. There it is, our Verdurous Gear Oak. Okay, I am uh, just playing this Malefista squad and make a token. So then I can just go wide with this regional skill for I think I can block and sacrifice, right? Yeah, whatever. Uh, the question is, do I play land or not? Do I play land or not? Because I could have Mind Rot, but I could also have another of these. I think I'm not playing it. Yeah, Stockpile only works in my opponent's turn. Not very familiar with this card. Implement of Malice. Oof, nice. I discard a land. Yeah, I love the plenty of fixing drafts. Gear Oak. Oh! <laughs> oh, I got punished hard. I'm attacking with all the earth. This is Menace, so we have to double block it. I could have played this guy last turn, I guess, instead of Malofist Squad. But what did I? So you take six, five, hmm, and I'm on 31, so if you draw my Midnight Oil, I'm not afraid of that. I mean, it's still looking great. Dai, vabbè, bella. GG, Zorg. Oh, there it is, a midnight oil. We all know that... Uh, we all know that uh, Mardu Merda can, can, can never win. So, you know. Okay, look at this. Look at this beautiful Sultai action here. One goes first. I'll put a stop in uh, my upkeep. After this turn. I love to crack them up in upkeep. It's just, uh, it's a play that makes you feel very smart. There's no real reasons, but it makes me feel very smart. Yeah, right? Mardu Vehicle without Copter. Mm. And Gideon. And without Thrub and Inspector. It's just missing all the good cards of Mardu Vehicle. Like, Mardu Vehicle that's on Arena, it's literally missing all the good cards of Mardu Vehicle and gaining nothing from the new card. The only thing that you gain is a better mana base, I guess. But the mana base wasn't even bad. You had a uh, uh, Etherab. I mean, Etherab is not great. Don't get me wrong. You had uh, what's it called? The Spire of Industry. Okay, here I'm just cracking this in upkeep to get my second swamp for the big nose. Big nose. Elora Poisoner. I'll put us playing black green as well. But you have the Kaladesh basics. By the way, I've loved these Kaladesh basics. For a long time, these were my go-to basics in paper. Because I remember... I remember... So the testing gows... Ooh, lots of rhinos. The testing gows of uh, PT Kaladesh... We had, uh, we had uh, Tomohuru Saito, who brought uh, a, a bunch of lands from Araruya, and they were in Japanese. And he, so he brought these, like, Kaladesh Japanese lands in the Araruya box that I still hold. I have it somewhere. It's so pretty, the Aruya box. I can't say. Alright, I'm sure it's somewhere in my house. Anyway, so. Wait, did they just Vengeful Rebel my creature? Cowboy, I guess. I was looking for my Aruya box and my opponent just completely damaged me. So yeah, basically I just had a bunch of these these basic lands in Japanese and I was using them uh, in Constructed. All the time. I mean... Hey, bot, uh, my opponent just really comboed off with these uh, Vengeful Rebel Green Belt Rampager combo. My poor Rhino! 
People told me that this Rhino is a good card, but getting uh, outplayed easily here by my opponent combos. I have two cards, though. If I draw a bunch of creatures here, I would love to stop drawing lands if it's possible. Oh, Thrag Tusk. Nice. I drew three while I was away. Yeah, right? I'm not blocking. Sky Skifle. This is a flyer, 2 3 flyer. It's the Smuggler's Copter proxy, in case you didn't have a Smuggler's Copter. I think it's time I just play this card. And attack for 6. This is the last game I didn't play this card when I was given the chance. And then I couldn't cast this anymore. I think it just cast it. So if I'm at a 5-5 five, five and like, bot is great. You don't need to get more value, I think. Repairing Tiger. Okay. Wait, do I have that in my deck as well? I don't. Oh, wow. I was thinking about you, selfless. Self-assembler. Okay, so let's say I attack with both here. Do they have good block? I don't think they have great blocks. Yeah, one thing I have to ask to get through. I think I'm okay in trading. Mm, I'm okay in attacking here. Yeah. I think so. This is trample as well. So let's say they like double block on this, they take five. Then I play a self assembler. My deck is so like so chunky as they say, just like only great only large creatures. Yeah, they can double block. Va bene. I'm, it's, it's fine. I'm tr I'm down trading. I'm down trading, but I'm clearing my path for my more creatures. Plus, the Stompers get. Uh, sorry, the Tusker is getting through. Va bene, va bene. Block. I'll kill the Repair and Tiger, I guess. Yeah, sure. Then I play Self Assembler, pick up another one. Yeah, I'll uh, put the Tiger in front. No combat trick. It's so a plain and simple trading. I'll play my 5 mana 4 4 that picks up another 5 mana 4 4. I play all my lands in this deck because I play Midnight Oil, which is a card that requires you to hit your, all your land drop. Opponent is on 9, I'm on 17. It's looking good. It's looking very good. I can attack with both here. They can trade here, but this one will get through again. It depends. If they draw a creature, then they can double block my Tasker. But I just... They were in top deck mode. I was just hoping they would stop. I did draw very well this game. Like, if you look at the cards that I've played, they've been amazing, honestly. Especially this, like, last three turns where I played back-to-back -back five drop. Back-to-back-to-back-to-back. To back to back to back. Yeah, I hope we top deck oil. Although, I will play self-assembler first. Wait, oil draws card immediately? No, right? Draws card in the next turn. So the first turn it does nothing. You just play it and pow. Gatto. E tornato. Rompe il cazzo. Eh? Our opponent's deep in the tank. <gasps> che cazzo? Damn of the schemes? What's this? Bad time. I could, could have drawn a land there. Oh! My splash! Look at my splash, chat. Yeah, but this card is just like... This card is still busted, though. Because... <sighs> pay 3 mana, pay 5, 4 energy, which you don't have, but whenever a creature dies... Whenever another creature dies, even my creature dies? Oh! Uh... I think I'll still have to play it and still have to attack with both. No, I don't know. I can't attack with both, actually. I can't attack with both, actually. I just, just play a Thriving Rhino. I pass. No, no, yeah, I can't attack. Yeah. They played land, and like, how do I win this game? 
You ever played Assembler? Ah, Pelke! Why did I play Malfunction? Why did I play Malfunction? Ah, I was. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. I mean, it's a great top deck. Probably the best card I had in my deck. <laughs> it's okay. It's a great draw. I should be very happy. It's just that, uh, it's just that I just, yeah. Nice. I know, opponent. I know it's nice. Okay, okay. Allora, pay quante? Five. Mm, do you get an energy? You don't. Then I'm attacking with all. It's okay, I'm in a great shape. I'm in a great shape. I'm I should be super happy. I'm slightly i slightly, you know, upset, but it's it's okay. At least the point I can't crew now. <laughs> Good game. Alright. Woo Gato! Woo! Kat, did you like my splash of malfunction? Eh? I splashed the color for a card that literally did nothing. I basically paid four mana to discard a card. You go first. Oof, nice end. Mamma mia, what a nice end. I just like my classic play that I've done every single game. I go upkeep. No, come and fragmentize. No, die. <laughs> I just played a fragmentize on my renegade map. Swamp! Ah, uh, okay, that seems still good though. Ah, uh, that's so funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's so funny. No, my forests. Ah, uh, it hurts. It hurts. Chief of the Foundry on your Esper mana. Adalia Foreste, porca madosca. Alright, what am I doing with this Malfi squad? <clears throat> is there any merit in making a token in this deck? I don't think there is. I'll just make it a. Ah, I'll make a token, whatever. I feel like I'm drawing uh, Verdure's Gear Old now. Oh, they put Renegade map chat. Let's kill that. Let's kill that. Ay ay ay. Through a swamp. I think I'll put Sense Extraction because uh, <clears throat> this thing requires two artifacts to be triggered. So I'll want to keep them away of artifacts here. Implement of Malice. Alright. Good thing my hand is garbage. I can discard this forest. Happily. Hopefully I don't draw my function now. Ooh, die young. Hello, bam bam. This is just a waiting room for my power five my powerful five drops. Ooh, they activate the renegade map. Oh, the classic double double man of every color. Double mana of every color chat is the key of every best of one game. Really the key of every best of one game. Oh, bad malfunction. Oh, exactly how we like it, right? Exactly how we like it. Good old malfunction here. Okay. Wow, this is on. Come on, unharder design is doing a lot of work for them. Still attacking for five years. Easel, 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 easel. Ooh! Thraktusk. Thraktusk is great here. Okay, they're trading. Go to seven. And then BAM! Game five life. Imagine playing three colors and actually drawing your colors. Alright, the third self assembler. I hope that's it, opponent. I hope you don't have more. Come on. Three is enough. Okay. Isola. Eh, how are we attacking here? How could all they have to they have to block this? Is it one one one? 
I draw an island, that's still gonna be alright. And this way they go to three, so they die to my Malufista squad next turn. Yeah, Gear, I literally won the game because of this card. Oh! Oh no, Restoration Gearsmith was the last card in end. Ah, uh, yeah. What do you get back? Chief of the Foundry. You drain me. Alright, land, 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 land. Sorry, why did I call land? I should have called island. Ah! Uh... So if I attack, they double block, I trade so they don't use the unarted design. Must cast if I use it, at least they stop draining me. Why did they call for land? Why did they call for land? I should have called for island. Oh, is this card good? It's a Kujar Seed Sculpture. I think I'll play it, but I think I'll put a counter on itself. No, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Leave in the dust. I, uh, I've drawn a good card, opponent. I have drawn a powerful card. It's my time to assemble. It's my time to assemble now. Buenos dias, Serrano. Buenos dias! Opponents draw literally every land in their deck. And they explode! Woo! Good game! Good game! Good game! Let's do... Ooh! The classic Mango Hand. Name a more iconic duo than Mango and Arena get map. Unfortunately, I can't play Big Nose on turn two, but whatever. I'll play it. This time didn't fragmentize a renegade map. Yeah, Lorato. Ether's correct comma. Ether Pioneer. No. Ether Poisoner. Turn my map every single game. It feels like, like it's noble hierarchy in those. Wow, servo. Oh, midnight oil. Yeah, Lorato. Look at our Sultai. Our Sultai is online. Yeah, I play the city sculpture. Put a counter on the poisoner. And attack with it. And make a servo. And if you double block, it's like if we traded the poisoner for servo exhibitioner. Well, I also made a 1 1 token. And I guess I also wasted a, a point on this card. I think overall we came up ahead in that exchange. Probably doesn't matter. Benji for Rebel. Okay. Nantro Nazone. Hmm. I'll be next as a turn. Am I double blocking here? Ma si, dai, ma che cazzo me ne frega. Let's clear the board. For Restoration Gearsmith to reanimate that. Hmm, nice land. At least now I have double green and double black. What is this? Hmm, okay. Alright, alright, we should be out of our mana problem now with this Attune with Eater. Okay, so I can play Big Nose and I can play Die Young on uh, this guy. Right? Yeah. Actually, this plays pretty bad in front of my Big Nose Goblin, so maybe I'm just. Killing the Restoration Gearsmith. Yeah, I guess. They have five cards, they have three, but I have Midnight Oil, so as long as I prevail my... Not prevail. Protect my life total, I'm okay. Sure, they're attacking me and whatever, I'm blocking. If they, if they just let it go to play Vengeful Rebel, I'm okay with that. Obviously, this isn't a two for one, but you know, this is, we got this out of their hand, and you know, we killed that thing, gained two life. I think the exchange is fine. Okay, I'm playing uh, my bus bud self assembler. Renegade map, unfortunately, comes to play tapped, so I couldn't. And if you draw this, you just want to pick up a second one immediately because you don't want to give yourself the option to draw the second copy. It's like the same with uh, I don't know, Squadronok. 
or Legion Conquistador. Goblin Vampire. Darren Demolition. Okay. I go to 15 here. Kaya Kujar Seed Sculptor. Okay, now I think I'm playing a bunch of creatures. And I'll put a counter of the Seed Sculptor on itself. No, maybe, no. Actually, no, let's put it on here. Yeah, it's better. Because if they don't have a, an answer to it, they have to double block it. How many self assemblers too many? Probably five is too many, but I will play four. I will be super happy to play four. Maybe five is not, yeah, four. Four. I think four is okay. Ooh, Rebook Privileges. It's, it's okay. It's still fine. Like, I have this in my hand. They have one card. Upkeep stop. Ooh, that's true. I almost forgot my upkeep stop. Uh, okay, let's get a forest. In my deck, I don't have any revolt. I did pass a fatal push in this draft. Ooh, malfunction. Bam, self assembler. Uh, decline. I guess I'll take the action just to shuffle my deck. A good old shuffle. It's always relaxing to shuffle your deck. I, I bet Arena is also happy to shuffle the deck. Die young, eh? Kick ass. Va bene, va bene, va bene. Opponent is killing them all here. Opponent is killing them all. So my seed sculpture can block a poisoner or nothing. I play. Oh, I bet I play this. I'll, uh, basically, I want to play Midnight Oil whenever I don't have any plays left. Essence Extraction, okay. Now I have a 5-5 five, five, and you're in top deck mode. I guess you can still attack with a Poisoner, but you can't make a 1-1 one, one token. Okay, I said that, cool. I think, I think, you know what they have, chat? They have the Flyer that gets a plus 1, plus 1 counter if you're ever rolled. Invece questo, what does it do? Oh, nothing, okay, cool. I think it's time. Is it time? Is it time for the Midnight Oil? I think it's time, chat. Boom! Let's try this card. Seven counters on it. Your turn. Next turn, we start drawing two. Or mana lose the game? No, let's not lose the game. I don't, I, don't, I don't remember playing this garlic ever. Oh, why attack with all? I go to what? Five. And you played that one? Oh, cowboy. Uh, that's a good draw. Visionary Argumenter. Oh, weapon have. Oh, very good draw to my, on my side as well. Very good draws on my side as well. So I can go Weaponizer Enthusiast, which is a card that I actually forgot I had in my deck. And then I can go Thrilling Rhino. What rank am I? I think I'm, 50, I, I'm, I'm I don't remember. 25, 15, something like that. I don't remember exactly. Oh, they pass immediately. Nice. So we draw two cards. Okay. I'll play. Allora, let me think. Maybe I might, maybe I can attack here. Huh? I think I can attack here. Allora, let's play Malfunction for sh... Oh, no, aspetta. This one is still... I still can't hold this... No, no, no. I think I, I have to play every card I have. Ever. Now. I think I always have to play every card I draw, chat. With Midnight Oil, you just can't keep any card in hand. I think I'm attacking. I think I have to... I think I have to get aggressive with Midnight Oil in the deck. Mm-hmm. Va bene. Yeah, I think Midnight Oil will, will win us this game. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. I kill two creatures. And then I put this and put, an put another token. And my, my, my hand size next turn will be one, but I will be able to play at least one card next turn. The fuck wisdom? Sacrifice a creature or an artifact, you put a plus one, plus one counter. Okay. <laughs> No, no, it doesn't deal two damage. No, because our, our, our hand size will be one next turn. Mm -hmm, so they went all in on that Defiant Salvager. I draw two cards now. Nazone. 
Terra. I attack with these two guys. Happy to trade Malfi Squad with the Argumenter, I think. Yep. Good game. This is a good game. You go to 13 and play land in a zone. Midnight Oil uh, hand size next turn will be zero. So if I draw two lands, I'll take one damage from the oil. This thing is just a 5-5, it doesn't have any other ability. I draw a spell, so I can't go to discard, and Frakakata. Pretty good. Attacking with these two only? Nah, oh, whatever, I'm attacking with the servos as well. Then I play my creatures. And, uh, yeah. I think, uh... I hope chat... I hope chat you have uh, you have seen uh, the power of this card in this game. Nice. I right, I hope you have seen the power of that card. Because this that card really shined. This card reminds me of uh, do you know the like um, in uh, Thurs no in Zendikar Rising there's uh, the four mana mythic rare named uh, Lethal Form Engine. Ooh, this is the first time ever that I don't have a Renegade map in my hand. But I will accept it, since my hand is literally only first picks. I mean, not this, but... This was actually the last pick. Well, no map, no big nose. I just realized I don't have the big nose. Ooh, Electrostatic Pummeler. Whatever, I think I kill it immediately. I'll make two tokens. We have uh, the, the Ridge Skilled Worm. As long as I draw lands, it is going to be very strong, because I can go Mulfi Squad, Ridge Skilled Worm. Okay, my opponent doesn't have any land. Yeah, I think I'll just go wide with my 1-1s. One You can get to Diamond playing BO1? No, for sure you can. Everyone can be anything in this digital platform called Magic the Gathering Arena. You can be a wizard, you can be a Munialing. You can be Mana Screwed playing Mono White, playing only Equipments. Sorry, what's this called? Uh, auras. No, Makata Sikiano. Oh, by the way, there's a, a Wrath of God in the format. There's a Wrath of God in the format. My opponent is sus, chat. My opponent is very sus. I think I passed the turn. Yes, Fumigate. I played it. My first, my first draft, I had Fumigate. It's a good strategy. You go vehicle, vehicle, Wrath of God. It's a good strategy. Is it because of fun? Crew? Okay, that's not it. Wrath of God, in fact. Vehicle and to draw a card. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> you can be a thief of crown indeed. No Pantagana, I don't really understand your questions anyway. Yeah, you can get to that. You can get to any any level playing the one too. It's hard, of course, but Alright put Antar, you did. Yes, that's the answer. Alright. This game was pretty easy because they didn't really do much. Also, the deck does seem very, very strong. Honestly, yeah, I like draft a lot. Yeah. All right, this is a five, a five land end. Five land end is really a lot, but it has one map. I guess now we made up for not having map in the previous game by drawing two in this game. Ooh, the Venice Island. Ooh, that Renegade map. Uh, I call it El Nazon. El Nazon Bribon. Right, so we go a two new ether, I'm gonna grab a swamp, and I'll play a swamp, and I'll play a renegade map, and I'm ready to crack it. In the upkeep. Get the island. 
And now we're set. Double black, double green. We also have like no lands left. We play 14 lands in this deck. Midnight Oil. Nice. Uh, do I play Big Nose? I think I'll play Big Nose rather than Weaponsmith. Because if they play like any creatures, I can't attack with my servos and I don't have any ways to exploit the creatures right now. Maybe opponent has, um, either they need land so they don't want to crack that in upkeep, or they, um, have revolt synergies. Oh wow, they do have the payoff now. Make a token. Then attack. Big nose. Where's this where's this forest located? I could have they could have said. No? Yeah, let's see. What's this? I've never seen it before. When well, enters the battlefield or dies, for each kind of counter on target permanent or player, give that permanent or player Oh Actual factual new abilities. Impressive. Uh am I playing Tusker now? I think so. I'm not getting the best use of Tusker, I know that, but I'm making so that this Gifted Ritherborn can attack now, plus I make a 5-5, plus a resolve that can't counter it right now. Wikipedia says it. Cool. The planes with the windmill is the Netherlands. Yeah, that, that's the planes I used in my Esper at the MPL. I know for sure this is Venice, that's the only one I know. Baral's expertise, ooh. And you play fabrication module. What's this? Whenever you, whenever, whenever you get one or more energy plus. Oh, cool. Okay. Thank you for five. Then I guess I'm playing big nose and thriving rhino. Since both of these things can at least trade uh, or get, get on top of the Malthus Revolutionary. Maybe I could have played this or No, it's a poison or just use it to pump the Rhino thing. This, this force is in France? Okay. Brosseliande. So this, so they put a counter here. This one can block, right? Can't block artifacts. Hmm, they pump this. So this one now it's bigger than the Thriving Rhinos. Essence, essence extraction is a good draw here. They can get an energy and put a counter on somewhere. I think I'm just attacking with these two. Let's see what they do. They get an energy, where do you put the counter on? You should put it on the Drake Achillity in response. If you put it on the revolutionary, which would be trading. But my gifted Etherborn would get through and you go to four. You put it on the Drake to make it a three four. I kill it in response. Unfortunately, I can't double spell this turn. You'll double block, I'll kill the four four. You'll be left with a one three, and you'll go to. Oh, wow. I didn't expect this block. This is not a very good block. I think it's GG. Yep. GG, let's go to 6 and 0. Woo! <laughs> Victoria! All right. We also super in time to finish this draft. I guess if I lose, it takes longer. Because I usually end the stream at 1 p.m. And now it's 1 p.m. And that's it. And then I just go to sleep at 11 and wake up at 8 for stream. Yeah, sometimes I do hang out with Gira1 after lunch. Alright, my hand is uh, solid Andy. On the draw it's worse, but that's okay. Hope you play, I don't know, 1-1. A pummeler, I guess. 
just for dinner yeah for dinner and after dinner she she studies a lot she's always studying and playing she was always busy in the afternoon all right there are mana up there there's wielding spark that they can play there that does three damage to my creature i think i'm just playing cultivator's caravan Lost Legacy is such a good magic card? Yeah, definitely. You should play as many as you can in the main deck. No, Senegal is... Arancione. The Odlambor. Mm. I put that for the natural got me very good there. It's a mistake. Yes, Sebastian. I was uh Oh Kaber da basta basta basta. I was already losing and I had to play Sky Solver Raid. No 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 no. Alright, you go first. I think we have to mulligan. Oh Kaboy, yeah, the wheels fell off. I have to keep this end. I'll bottom uh, uh my friend uh I'll function. Alright, if I drop a swamp, my hand is good. In bitch. Oh, and it's fine. I can still draw it out. I mean, I was already on six. I can't mulligan again. The Zen is okay. Wait, it's still one damage to me. <laughs> okay. Ah, pa porca merda, gatto. Ma che cazzo è successo? What happened to this deck? Did someone turn off her deck? Did someone turn off her deck? It's not a 14 lander, it's 17 lander. Hmm. Yeah, Panzo? No. Io dopo pranzo viene Federica, andiamo a fare dei giri. Quindi in caso se vieni tardi non ci sono più. Va bene, va bene. Dai. Va bene. Okay, I snap kept this two lander on the play because I know chat that I'll be drawing a land now. 100% sure. 100% sure that I'll be drawing a land. Ah, Peta, let me put the stop in upkeep. Oh, Munizola. What a beautiful scene. What a beautiful sight. What a beautiful sight. Basic island, fresh from the sea. Fresh from the sea, this basic island was chat. Um, I think I'll play a cultivator's caravan. Yeah. Midnight Oil is good. Yeah, Midnight Oil has been very good. Right, Midnight Oil has been good for me so far. Lean sleeve artisan. Token, 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 token. I love that they put the token so this one goes under the Kujar seed sculpture. E what do I do? I'll just play Pillar Book. Book, book. I think so. Yeah. Midnight Oil in Constructed? I didn't, no. I'm glad you're having a lot of fun, Jaborian. Kujar says, yeah, this card is, is okay. I mean, it's not insane. I think I got it like last pick. Or like second to last pick. It's fine. It's, 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 it's a good card. I could have accrued an attack for five, but I'm putting a cracks back for four. I'm not sure if I want to play that game. Hmm. All right, now it's missing just a couple of... Uh, now it's missing just a couple of uh, self-assembler from having assembled all my five and four drops. Okay, we'll be we'll be waiting for them. Self-assembler, two three for two is good. Yeah, but still, it's a two three for two. I mean, it's not so good. You just play it, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's good if it's fine. Of course, it's not bad. But... 
it's never thrilling to pick it. You, if, you're, if you're a green and this is the only green card in the pack, you take it, but not taking this over. You have to think that this format isn't a normal format. It's it merged together two sets and it put the best card of two sets together. So the power level of this set is very high. Do you attack me? I don't think you can attack me because they have the Cultivator's Caravan over there. Ooh! Wait, you are attacking me. I'm okay if one of my cre I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna move here. I'm not gonna move here. I'll let him trade with my Pillar Bug. I think. I think I'll let him trade with my Pillar Bug. If I move and they have a combat trick back, I think it's very bad. So that is why I chose to do what I did. And I'll play a sense extraction. I think I just want to play all the cards in my hand. Just because... Um, just because I have this Midnight Oil, so I just want to deploy all my cards, all the cards in my hand. Ceremonious Rejection are for uh, the colorless uh, combo decks. Did you make it to one? No, no, no. Not at all. Okay, what's this? Quatamando do double strike. When enters out, you get two energy? Okay. I guess I used, I used all my removal spell on crappy cards, and now... We'll play the sub to strike end of turn. I think so. I am playing all my combat trick pro or removal spell proactively, but I think it's okay. Alright, do I want to play Midnight Oil now? No, we don't. If I own Tretero Double Strike, it just trades with my Kujar Seed Sculpture. So, do I want to play Midnight Oil? I draw two cards. We go map, right? Yeah, too few lands to play Sejur. Yeah, too few lands to go Midnight Oil. Not even going to crack the map in upkeep. I don't have block with the Caravan. I can block with the Sea Sculpture. This is a 3 3 double strike. I just trade. This is a. Um, yeah. Second crew. Renegade Wheelsmith. Whenever it becomes tapped, tap target creature this control. Okay, so it's bad if they have a vehicle here. They don't and they pass the turn. Nice. Alright, I'll start stomping. Let's play a threat disc first. Now they can attack with this and tap one of my creatures, but both of my creatures are very large. They can just trump this thing. Oh, wielding spark. I yeah. Uh, now they deal me lots of damage. Thankfully, I'm on twenty seven, so it's not a big deal. But this renegade wheelsmith will uh, will be very good now. From now on. Yeah. So they have a uh, say ten damage. They have ten damage now. All right. Pick up a swamp here, and then because uh, I don't want to draw lands anymore. I think one land was okay, but now no more lands. Good game. Though. This is a good game for sure. I feel like I have sp I've spent my removal spell too aggressively, I think. Although I wanted to empty my hand for Midnight Oil, but maybe if I if I had kept them, I would have been in a better shape now. Menace. Okay, this is good now. Aether Poisoner. Alright, I'll play the, the, the Tusker here and pass the turn. And now I have the Cultivator Caravan as a blocker too, so that whatever they target with the Wheelsmith, I can crew the Caravan with. Nice, yes, nice indeed. Nice indeed, very good card. Rage Dill Tusk, Rage Skill Tusker. And next turn, I'll, I'll, I'll see what we draw, but. Two mana four five, yeah, two mana four five. The Cruiser Sip Sculpture. Actually, on the printed card, it's a two mana one two. Okay, what did they draw? They, last turn, I think they had a land in end. Oh, they had a Revoke Privileges in end? Can't attack or crew vehicle.
Okay, so we have to crew now. And then uh, they have one card in hand, which I hope it's a land. They can uh, they can uh, give menace to this guy, attack with all, make whatever unblockable. Sorry, make like this unable to block, so I have to trade with the scrappy champion. Thank God I have two creatures with five toughness. Or this. Ah, oh, come on, this lightning. Oh, my God. Oh, cowboy. Oh, no. How did you how did you find all these removals well? Here we go 6063. Wow. 6063 is such a bum. Such a bummer. It's not slow rolling, that top deck one. Not you're not in a slow rolling. Alright, get a four. Mm. Probably just dead on board now. I think I'm dead on board. All right, that's it. Wow, I really, I really thought it was in a great shape this game. Yeah, I really thought it was in a great shape this game. Again, the the early removal spell they were they were probably played in the wrong order. I think. Yeah. It was all it was all about those early removal spell. I think. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My punishment for going yeah past past one pm past one pm I past one pm I went zero three before one pm we were, we were six and zero oh. big difference right so I can block two creatures yeah good game good game good game good game. Not playing Goy was a mistake. Could have been, yeah, could have been. Could have been. Could have been that we should have played Miss the order.